Yo, 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 what up YouTube? Welcome to Sneakers and Shots. I'm your host, Val Dis Richardson. And I'm coming back at you with another unboxing. No, I'm a little late on it. They've been kind of sitting up and piling up in here and I've been kind of slacking on my responsibilities. So, today, I'm getting her done. So we got this nice Nike box with it, just get it, just do it, tape on it. And I really hate that. I hate coming home. Now, I'm saying, I'm not, I'm not in a real, I'm not in no screwed up neighborhood, so I haven't had anything taken from it with good. I just hate coming home and seeing damn box on my front porch that says just do it. Jordan. Well, this is the Retro Jordan 3 Racer Blue. Racer Blue. I'm going to put Racer Blue. I believe Racer Blue. <clears throat> now, why they call it Racer Blue, I have no idea. Oh. For the damn paper. Anyway, like I was saying, it's your first time. Hit that like and subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Sneakers and Shots. So let's hop right into this bad boy right here. This is a Retro Jordan 3 Racer Blue, as you can see from the blue accents around the midsole, anchor collar, Jumpman, <clears throat> um, lace holes, and also that um, Jumpman Air on the rear. Me personally, I prefer the Nike Air on the rear of my threes, but um, that's fine. This is, I think that's the only complaint I would have about this shoe is it don't have the Nike Air on it. But you know, as the threes normally go, you got the um, <clears throat> excuse me, you got the elephant print around the toe and around the um, the heel tab, and um, like I say, it it, it comes with the nice tumble leather on the upper and you got smooth leather around the base of the upper which gives it a sort of a different contrast so you, you got the contrasting leathers between the two between the upper and before you get to this midsole you have a strip of smooth leather before you get to the elephant print <clears throat> and you also got the wolf gray uh most of the tongue is wolf gray and also around the lace holes. You got this wolf gray bottom, but also racer blue and more. Um, anyway. Now, let's say um, the quality of the leather in this shoe is, it's pretty good, it's a little stiff, but I think normally threes were stiff anyway. In my opinion, I think threes were just stiff. But um, it's a, it's a, it's a cool shoe, it's a cool shoe. Um, resale market just 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 a hair above retail. So if you was looking to uh, turn into a profit, you had to buy a hundred pair of these things. You really didn't make any money off of them. So this is the shoe for a shoe wearer. This this is a shoe that people who wear their shoe. This is not a shoe for you to turn and try to turn a profit on because you would need way too many pairs. Like you may make ten dollars on it, twenty dollars tops. <clears throat> so you would need ten pair to make two hundred dollars. So that's really not worth it if. You're in the resale game for these, but um, I think the only three that really sell are the cement threes. That's 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 just my opinion. I think those are the only ones that really go. But like I say, the last few pair that came out, uh, you had the Midnight Navy or AKA Georgetown. You had those um, Jim Reds. You had the the Denims, and they pretty much all sold on the resale market for just above retail <clears throat> so like i said if you're getting threes you're getting them because you like threes you like three is a or 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 you're supplementing your collection let's say you had three you had you had the whole jordan line and you're missing the threes that happens sometime or you may have wore a pair of threes out and you want to replace them that's pretty basically on you i see to get threes um when it comes to the comfort standpoint <clears throat> I think they're pretty good. They're not as comfortable as the fours, but threes are 
uh, a good seven and a half to eight out of ten on comfort when it when it comes to wearability. Um, the thickness of the leather makes them pretty durable, so they're not going to really tear up. They're going to get the creases, and but it's already tumble leather, so it's not going to look as bad as a shoe that has smooth leather on it. I think the, the, the when you wear these, and the older they get, the more character this particular shoe develops. So anyway, like I was saying, really not too much to say about a Retro Joy 3, but this is the Racer Blue iteration for 2021. Go hit that like, subscribe. Again, follow me across all social networks, uh, Twitter, Instagram, and uh, TikTok at Sneakers and Shots. And you, if, if you follow me now, you probably already found me on, on uh, Facebook. But um, it's not Sneakers and Shots on Facebook. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe. See y'all next time. Peace. <clears throat>